Alright. Woo! That was first try. That was first try too. First try to run. First try. Wow. He had done one of those, I will say. That was sick though. Jesus. Stop. Oh my goodness. This is all, this is freestyle. He did not plan this. For the people. Wow. Wonder if he likes the skate park. Damn. If he doesn't, he's lying to you. And he's, he's all sore right now. Oh. He hit the rail. Street dog. Oh my goodness. Wow. How's he still landing everything right now? He better do a slappy grind. Oh my goodness. He's getting it slappy. Jeez. Don't stop now. I don't know how long this run has been, but it is crazy. Oh, first missed trick, nose manual. Street dog, slipping. My goodness. Guys, for days, this is street park goes. Now I'm gonna catch my breath. Jesus, that was wild. Your madness. Yeah, look at this place. Even though it's really small, there definitely is a lot of lines. It's kind of like a lap. Like, this is a corner, there's a corner over there, there's a corner over here, and then there's a bunch of obstacles in the middle. Exactly. Perfect description. There you go. Whew. What's up, everybody? I'm Al Brunel. We're here at Vista Skate Park in California. This is actually one of two skate parks. The other skate park's like 200 feet that way. You know, we have the street park over here, transition park over there. We're gonna go over there later. We're getting these legs warmed up right now. Um, this park at Vista, the street park is so fun. Has this obstacle right here. It's a hubba on the other side, but on this side, it's a quarter pipe up to a hubba. So for us transition skaters, we don't have to ollie up, do our normal lip tricks, put it into a slide or a grind, take it off the ledge, and it's like street and transition mix. So I'm gonna skate this right now, and then a little bit, we're gonna take it over the transition. So let's get it go. thing about having a spot like this uh, transition hub is it can make you feel like a street skater. So I love skating it. I'm not the best at ollieing up to things as I'm sure you guys know or who subscribe to my channel. You know I don't ollie up to many things. If I'm gonna ollie it's gonna probably be something small. If it's big I usually do wally. So having the quarter pipe up to ledge is a perfect obstacle for me and you know creates endless fun. I can uh you can just get really creative on here. You can do fakey tricks, switch tricks, slides, shoves out, flips out if you're really good. One thing about it though, I'm noticing is that the ground is a little bit slick. Coming from Colorado, our local park is Denver Park and everyone knows that park for being really slick. I think it's just like the redness of the concrete. Me and Dowdy were talking about earlier. We think it's just like so hard that in a sense, like when dust hits it, it kind of sticks to it. It's really slick, you know, all that dirtiness just keeps collecting on there on this hard red concrete. And I think something in the redness makes it slick. So. 
We are sliding out on those tricks. That is something I'm noticing, but you uh, you gotta be kind of light on your board. You'd think because it's slick you want to be heavy, but when you're heavier, you're more prone to sliding out. So because it's slick, we're gonna stay light on our board and just kind of try to hover and let, you know, let our board do its thing. Because if you push it too much, that's when the slide outs are gonna occur. Cool thing about this hub of ledges I was talking about earlier is that they're symmetrical. So whether you're goofy or regular, you can try on both sides. You don't have to worry about only being able to try it backside. Like some parks have only one optical set aside for a certain stand skater. So since they're symmetrical, you can try it both ways. And you know, it's more uh, it's more entertaining. It's more fun to try. You got more experiences in a sense. So yeah, this is definitely my favorite feature here. I think the only thing I gotta watch out for is the slickness of the ground. And when I'm coming off the ledge, I have to be light. Because like, you're coming from a transition background. Usually you're a little bit heavier when you're skating transition. Because you're like stomping the landings and you're pumping through the bowl corners. But when you're skating street, you gotta be a little bit more light. So that you can like let your board roll out when you come down from drops. So coming from the transition to the street landing, I have to go from heavy foot to light foot. And that's kind of my biggest challenge right now, but uh, the more I do it, the more I figure it out. Guys, well, that's gonna wrap it up for my video here at the street park in uh, Vista, California. Stay tuned for my next post. It's gonna be at the transition park. There might be an Ollie 540 in there, but I'm not saying anything. Um, you know, do you have a, a feature near you that has like a hubba quarter pipe up on one side? Go try every trick you can do on a quarter pipe on that obstacle and see what you can learn. I'm sure you guys will get into some weird but fun stuff. Anyways, thanks for watching. Hit that like button if you guys enjoyed the video and I'll see you guys on the next one.